Hello. Today we will talk about ASCII art. The origins of it lay in 1980s where graphical capabilities of computers were quite low and people wanted to draw images in their computer's terminal. The idea is that a pixel or a group of pixels can be replaced with some ASCII symbol. And grouping these symbols in clever way can give us good results. We will take an image and will try to convert it to ASCII art. The project will use Golang and I decided to choose a corresponding image. Okay, let's get to coding. As always we start with skeleton. For this project we need to import a couple of modules. We will work with images, in particular with PNG images. And we need OS package to work with files. First of all let's create a function that loads PNG image from a local file. This is quite easy to do. We just open a file and read it using image package. Of course we should not forget about error handling. Then we will convert our image to grayscale. This is an important step for ASCII art as your terminal is monochrome. There are some formulas how to convert RGB to grayscale. The links them will be in breakdown. Next thing we need to understand is that terminal window size is much smaller than regular image size. That's why we need to scale the image and find the average pixel of a region. We will iterate through columns and rows of image, convert each pixel to grayscale and then calculate the average value. Final step is to map somehow the grayscale average pixel color to an ASCII character. Such mapping table is called ramp and essentially it maps darker pixels to more dense ASCII symbol. We need to choose scale ratio carefully. I noticed that 2 to 1 ratio would be good for displaying on a terminal screen. Now we go through all pixels of an image and calculate the grayscale average pixel using already created function. Finally we map the grayscale value to an ASCII character and output it to console. Now we can check results in terminal. Let's run our program. Quite good result. But what happens if we make the terminal smaller and change the scale? Let's try it. Running again. Now we see that the image looks even better. Nice result. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed this video.